and shit like that. So, like, I don't know. Y'all think I should start doing it? I already have, like, a YouTube account and stuff. I already got subscribers and shit. So, I feel like I could start. Like, I could do it. But I'd be so lazy. I don't know. Y'all think it would be fun? Like, I don't need to do it. But, like, it could be, like, a another way to interact with y'all. But I feel like it's kind of, like, corny. But, like, not, like, those weird videos, but just, like, like skincare tutorials, hair tutorials. Like, not, like, vlogs or nothing. Because that shit's, like, corny to me. But I don't know. I feel like it could be fun. Do Twitch, you can interact more. I want to do Twitch. I definitely do want to do that because I see seeing people make hella money from that shit. And all they be doing is playing little games and stuff. But yeah, I would definitely do Twitch. Motherfuckers be making hella money off that shit, but basically doing nothing. Anyway, for me to make quick money, I'm down because... I'm trying to stack my shit up so I can retire when I'm 21. <laughs> and with the way shit going, that's definitely going to be a possibility. I sound like I'm broke. <laughs> okay. You gotta be careful on Twitch. If you think it's easy money, there's gonna be a lot of rules. No, I'm talking about like, not like doing like a weird Twitch thing, but like playing games and stuff. And just like having like an audience there for it, but like. Why is this in Japanese? Oh. No, nah, it's not about, it's, it's not about, um, OnlyFans, like, longer. no, it's, it's not about that, y'all are funny, nah, listen, that's definitely not the case, it's just, like, you know, people, like, influencers and stuff, like, not influencers, but, like, I guess, influencers and, like, music, like, artists and stuff, like, we don't get a, um, well, like, it's for music, yeah, but, like, f from other stuff, like, some influencers, like, if you're not getting a steady income from music, like, the same, and even, like, sometimes you get some money from this, you get some money from that, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, okay, so if you're just an influencer and you don't do music, you, you're not getting, like, a, like, a salary, like, you're not on salary, you know, even with music, you're not on salary, but, like, you do like promos and stuff and like the ads through if you're if you're like a youtube influencer like the ads through youtube pay you like stuff like that so you do all different things like if someone was just a youtuber or something like twitch i guess could be cool because then it's like another thing to add to you getting money but like yeah i'm not explaining it, but it's not really about <laughs> oh you're broke so you need something to do to get money but like well, I have an audience right now, like, shit, might as well stack up my money, you know what I'm saying? But now all I was saying about um, Twitch was that I just hear, like, people really, like, make careers off that shit. So, like, they really, like, make, like, steady money off that shit. So, for someone like me who's already making money, like, that could literally, if I did Twitch or something, that could be, like, my play money. Like, you know what I'm saying?
Do y'all be watching Fuller House? <laughs> I love Fuller House. I need to apologize to Nikki for what? <laughs> Y'all are funny. I love when people try to pin me with other celebrities. Like, look, y'all, did y'all remember that clip? It was from like four years ago. There was a clip of me saying, this was the whole thing, right? Word for word. I was like, y'all act like I got on here and said, fuck Nicki Minaj. I hate her. Like, And then they clipped the part. They didn't get the part where I said, y'all act like I said, and they just got the part that said, fuck Nicki Minaj, I hate her. And then they started circulating, and I was like, bro, what? Like, y'all are fucking nuts. Y'all are literally nuts. And then I think another part of that sprouted from... I had did this live because this lady, like, who, like, co-wrote some of my music, like, a couple songs, like, some hooks or something... She tried to say that she wrote my entire album word for word. And then so when I got live to like expose her, like this lady was doing a bunch of weird shit. But anyways, when I went on live to expose her, Pella people was like, oh, my God, like you, uh, you, you use the writer to co-write stuff. And I'm like, bro, this is this is what happens when you're signed and you like you really do this shit. And I was like, everybody does that. Like there's some artists that don't like they just like doing their shit by themselves. But like sometimes when you're signed, like. Your A and R will like be like, hey, you want to do such and blah blah blah. Like they're a really good writer. Like they'll help you with some shit. Y'all could come up with some fire ideas and stuff, and then you do it. So, just around that time, I had been working with this dude Detail, and so I was like, oh y'all, because they was like, oh no, that's not true. Like nobody works with writers. So I was like, bruh, okay, I know Detail has worked with so many people. So I pulled up, I pulled up um his the list of people he worked with, and I was like. How many people, uh, so, no, I was like, y'all, I, I was like, I bet y'all gonna be fans of all these people I'm about to name, because they worked with Detail, and he's a writer, and I guess I had, I didn't even try to say her name, it was just that her name was there, like, I wasn't, like, specifically gunning for her, it was just, it was a bunch of people, it was, like, Ray J, Lil Wayne, and, like, Nikki, it, it was some other people, too, I don't know, but Nikki was on there, and then her fans took that part, and, like, tried to, like, they were posting my, like, my old address and stuff, like, bro, they're crazy. I love Nikki though. I've been listening to her music since I was young. Like, she was, like, the only... Because I didn't really grow up in the Little Kim, like, Foxy Brown era. Like, I was born in 03. So, like, the first female for me... Well, no. The first female for me was actually Trina, but I definitely didn't hear her music as much as Nikki's. Because it was, like, right before, like, YouTube really became a thing. Like, I didn't have a phone or nothing, so I was really just listening to what's on the radio. And I know I definitely listen to a lot of Nicki Minaj. But, like, her style, her style of rapping and, like, her delivery is just, like, it's so fire. Like, because no one can really, like, there's a lot of different females, but no one can ever, like, beat her way of doing. Like, she's in her own category. Like, that's why I don't really like when people, like, pin her next to Cardi and stuff because... Even, like, Lil' Kim, like, they be trying to pin her next to Lil' Kim and stuff. Like, when people say Nikki's, like, Nikki's, like, my favorite female rapper, they, they, um, they get mad and they try to be, like, <laughs> bro, now they trying to say I called her old. No, I didn't. Not at all. Um, no, what was I saying? So, yeah, like, when they try to pin her with people, it's, like, Nikki is not her own category you know what i'm saying like the same way cardi's in her own category uh cardi b's in her own category Lil kim's in her own category like they were all different errors so there's it's you can't say no one's the best because they're just the best at what they do you know what i'm saying like that's why that like it's, it's so weird because you don't usually see them like try to pin god you see it but it's not as popular them it's not as popular them trying to pin guys against each other then like you don't see oh who's better kanye west or jay-z as much as you see who's better or whose side are you on like 
Like, bro, what? There's that's two that's two generations of fucking music. Like, Cardi Cardi just got popping what like two three years ago. Like, Nicki been doing this shit for like ten fifteen years. Like, you can't you can't compare. Like, they're both great, but they're just two different people, and they're in two different categories. Like, Cardi had like Nicki's more of a like. How do I explain it? More of like a... Like a... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't want y'all to twist my words, but like Cardi's more like a rap pop and Nicki's more of like a rap rap. Like Nicki has like crossed over into pop many times, but so like so has Cardi. So it's like... it's I don't know. They're just two totally different people and it's so weird when y'all try to pin them against each other. And I hate when people try to make it seem like I have beef with someone I've never even talked to. Like, I don't hate Nicki Minaj. I don't hate anyone. Like, I'm, like, how can I hate somebody and talk shit about somebody I don't know? Like, y'all literally twist my words all the time, and it's so annoying. I could literally get on here and say my favorite color is orange. The next minute, I'm going to see people talking about, Bad Baby got on live talking about her favorite color green. Like, what? And another thing I be liking about Nicki Music is she's super animated. Like, she does different voices and stuff. And, like, all her flows be different. Like, she's super animated. That's super cool. Here's an idea. Go talk to DJ. But you better hurry. Finish those. Listen, if CJ asks where I am, just let him know where I am. Because I don't want to But, yeah, like, I've never... I never had beef with nobody that didn't start with me first. So, don't go in here saying that I hate people and I... Like, don't like people. Like, what? But what's up, y'all? What else y'all want to talk about? I'm floating in the clouds. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Are me and Mary still friends? Who is Mary? Can we talk about how toxic cancel culture is? Cancel culture is like the weirdest shit ever. Like, Regular people who don't have cameras on them 24-7 or, like, don't get caught doing shit because no one cares about them. Like, not the whole, or at least not the whole world cares about them. Like, they try to cancel celebrities and influencers and stuff for, like, literally no reason. Like, it could be a video. Like, for me, example, they try to, like, cancel me for getting into it with my mom five years ago when I was 13 years old like y'all know y'all didn't got fights with y'all parents before when y'all was young how would you like it if that followed you your whole life <laughs> when am I dropping music I've been working on music but I just want to wait till the time is right You on the weed, girl? I don't smoke weed. I be getting paranoid. Y'all be saying some crazy shit.
bro. Y'all are funny. Like, why do y'all care about who? <laughs> like, bro, would that be weird to you? Like, if somebody just came up to you, like, did you have sex with blah, blah, blah? Like, a random person you don't even know. Like, huh? Why do y'all think that's cool to, like, be like that with celebrities? That's another thing that bugs me. I be talking about this all the time. People on the internet literally love, like, normal people that be on the internet love to literally go after and, like, have these make-believe beefs with celebrities just because they see them on the internet. Like, they talk like they've known you for 10 years, like they live in your, like they live in your house. Like, they know you for 10 years. Like, bro, you don't even, you've never even seen me in real life. But you want to tell me who I slept with and what, what what goes on in my house. And that I do this and that I do that. Like, bro. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to get off now, but it was good talking to y'all. I'll talk to y'all another day. (laughs)